What it is with y'all, it's your boy MGZ coming at y'all with another video. Now before we get started, if you could leave a like and sub to the channel and hit those post notifications, that would mean the world to me, bro. Make sure to leave a comment too. We're trying to get up in them rankings and it starts with you guys, bro, and I'm gonna do my part. But today, bro, as you can tell by the title, I'm giving y'all one of the best point guard builds I found in this game, man. This build is extremely goaded. It's so balanced between playmaking, shooting, and defense, and I think you guys are gonna love it, man. It's a point guard, so without, so I'm gonna stop, I'm gonna stop talking, bro, and we're gonna get straight into this, all right? So first and last name obviously do not matter, bro. For the position here, we're gonna wanna go at point guard, and for the hand, we're gonna wanna go right. It obviously doesn't matter what hand you decide to do, but we're gonna go with the right. And for the jersey number, I'm just gonna crank that to 33. Y'all know it's my football number, bro. Basketball, 11 and three. All right, y'all. So for the height here, bro, this we're going to talk about why I'm doing it the way I'm doing it, okay? So at 60, bro, everything stays neutral. This is the perfect height for a point guard. I know some of y'all will be like, oh, let's go taller, this and that. We're not a slasher, bro. We are not a slasher. I told you this build is so balanced. It's perfect. You feel what I'm saying? So instead of going all the way up to 6'6", six, 6'5", six, six, if you want to go that height, bro, you, you can make a shooting guard. There's probably a shooting guard version, but I'm telling you, this is the best build that I found, and it's a point guard. So for the height, we're going to want to go with 6'3", and for the weight, we're going to want to take this all the way down to 170 pounds, the lowest weight. Now, as you can see, we only take a hit to the post control and the strength. Strength. and I know some of y'all might be thinking oh a 41 strength like what don't worry about it bro your point guard that's not your job if you're playing threes you better hope your center or your two or three guard has strength you feel what I'm saying as your job is a point guard just give me the rock and let me go to work you feel what I'm saying so we're gonna take that weight all the way down to 170 you see your speed and acceleration go up to a 94 and a 93 your speed with ball goes up to a 92 and then here with your wingspan you guys it's default at 67 you're gonna want to take this down to 64 now as you can see with 64 your mid-range shot goes up plus four to a 97 and your shooting goes your three-point shot goes up uh, plus three to a 94 your speed with ball or your ball handle goes up plus two and your speed with ball goes up plus four all right your defense don't worry about your defense because i'm not, you're gonna see how it turns out you feel what i'm saying so we're gonna head we're gonna head over here and hit that continue button and y'all gonna have to follow me along with these um attributes here you guys and i'm gonna explain everything so for your close shot here bro you see it goes all the way up to 99 but it is not necessary at all bro i'm telling you you're fine with 90 if you get that close to the rim bro i'm pretty sure a 90 is going in no matter what you might get yeah an extra shooting badge at 90 or you might get an extra shooting or finishing badge when you go 99 but it's really not worth it you guys those attributes can go towards more important things. You feel what I'm saying? So now the next part is the driving lip, bro. The driving lips are actually very important. You're just going to want to put that at 83. Again, this goes to a 99, but it is not necessary. We're going to stick this out at 83 because this year, doing lifts are difficult, but you want to make sure you have somewhat of a driving lip just so you're not missing. And it just ties into this build so well. Now, again, we don't need to touch driving dunk, standing dunk, or post control because we are a point guard. You feel what I'm saying? So we're going to come down to the shooting here, and we're going to take a look at this mid-range shot. We're gonna crank that all the way to the 97 and with your three-point shot again i'm gonna explain it does go to a 94 bro but you're chilling at an 88 and the reason why i say this is because i have a, I have friends with builds that have 75 threes 83s and they hit like nothing shooting is very easy in this game and with an 88 three-point shot and 34 badges man i'm pretty sure you're gonna be able to go to work now with the free throw you're gonna want to take it up to a 40 a 40 is gonna be it's, it's low and i know some of y'all might think oh what if i'm playing rec what if i'm playing pro-am what if i'm trying to grab my career well yeah bro well then you're gonna take a hit to it but honestly a free throw is not important if you're grinding the playground so i'm gonna keep that at 40 y'all do what y'all want with that but now into the fun stuff bro we're gonna come over to the playmaking and for the playmaking man we're gonna take this up there pass accuracy to a 75 again 80 could work but we're gonna go with 75 because like i said these attributes need to go to more important things it goes all the way up to a 99 but that's not needed man a 75 is perfect you're gonna be able to make passes like nothing you feel what i'm saying it's especially with the amount of badges with the badges you get bro you're gonna get time you're gonna get all that so don't worry about it with your ball handle bro you're gonna want to take that all the way up to a 92 and your speed with ball you're gonna also want to take all the way up to a 92 now you see this 15 finishing 34 shooting and 29 playmaking bro this build is absolutely golden okay interior defense does not matter your point guard perimeter defense take that to a 78 and you're still it does go up to a 95 bro but we're chilling at 85 you feel me now you're going to be a pest, bro. Primitive defense at a 78, that's pretty good. You're going to be able to clamp guards and everything, bro. You Trust me, you, you, you're you going to be all right, all right? So now with the speed, you want to take that to a 94. Your acceleration, you want to take to a 93. And your stamina, you want to max at a 99. It doesn't matter about strength, and your vertical does not matter either. Because, again, 
We're not dunking. We're not doing none of that. We're not doing none of that fancy stuff, okay? So now you guys see we got a 90 close shot, an 83 driving layup, a 97 mid-range, 88 three, a 40 free throw, a 75 pass accuracy, a 92 ball handle, a 92 speed with ball, nothing to the interior defense, 78 perimeter defense, 85 steal, nothing to block defensive or offensive rebound, and with our speed, our 94, acceleration, a 93, nothing to the strength, nothing to the vertical. And when we take a look at the stamina here, we got that at a 99. Now, I want you all to pay attention to something. Like I said, you got 15, 34, 29, 15. That's 93 badges, bro, as a point guard. It doesn't get much better than that. It really doesn't. Okay, but look, the main parts of this build is the shooting and playmaking. You do get some defensive rebounding and finishing, but I'm going to show you all when we go into the takeover page what I suggest and why. So right here, you guys were looking at the primary takeover. For me, personally, I'd go with the ankle-breaking shots. Now, the reason why I say this is because it says increases the likelihood of dropping defenders and making step back and spin jumpers. That is insane, man. Trust me. Once you get going, bro, if you know how to dribble, bro, you're going to be breaking everybody, fading. You know what it is. You know what it is, okay? So we're going to go with the ankle-breaking shots for the primary takeover. When we come over to secondary takeover, you can stack them this year. You can stack them this year. But I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't necessarily do that with this build, you guys. Negative impact, no. What I would do is this limitless range. But you know how cheesy it would be. Spam dribble, pulling up from deep. You feel? You know what I mean. You know what I mean. I know you guys like this build. I know you guys like this build. So we're going to go ahead and hit this limitless range right here. And we're going to go ahead and finish. And we're going to see what we built. So we're going to finish here. My player build, you've built a two-way shot creator. Now this build, like I said, bro, it's insane. It's shades of Steve Nash, Mike Conley, and Trey Young. Now, y'all, I ain't going to hold you too much longer, but this is the video I had for y'all. This is one of the best point guards in the game with 93 badges. This build is a demigod. I want y'all to go take a look at some of the other videos I dropped. I dropped one for the best power forward, and I dropped one for one of the best centers in the game. Y'all go check that out. Leave a like. Show some support, man, because we on the ground all 2020. But like I said, y'all, MGZ, and we signing out, y'all. Peace.